Hi everyone, it's Michael Citron with Parrot Realty coming here with another edition of our Keeping It Real Estate. Um, if you're looking to purchase a house today, the market's crazy, and these are five reasons why your offer is not getting accepted by the seller and you're getting frustrated. So pay attention, I'll go through them as quickly as possible. So number one, contingencies. A lot of buyers come into the market and they're excited, they're looking at houses, but they don't realize that they have to put their house on the market or possibly sell it or rent it to get it off their debt to ratio income or they need the proceeds to purchase. So sellers have multiple offers on houses, so they're gonna pick the cream, pick the cream of the crop. So if your house needs to be sell, sold or rented, you need to go with thinking about that strategy first. Number two, pre-approval. I we list a lot of homes, I meet a lot of people, and they come in, they don't even have a pre-approval letter. So they haven't even started the process of making sure their finances is in, is in check. So make sure you speak with a, a great lender who's accessible on the weekends, at night. Um, we have Joe Palopoli as our, as our in-house, so we certainly could recommend them, uh, you know, his team to you. But he also is a messenger to that listing agent. He's going to be you know, a supporter of you getting that deal through by saying, you're financing your check. I've pulled everything. They're good to go. They're going to close. I'm here. You know, so this is another supporting cast member of the process of working with a great real estate agent. Price. A lot of people don't realize the market's moving so quickly. Houses are selling for asking or even more. So you definitely have to be prepared to come in with your best and final right away. Um, number four is terms. Terms meaning maybe you will have to, deal, talking about price, you might have to waive the appraisal conditions. If you're not comfortable doing that, you might have to pay a certain amount of dollars above the appraised value and put that in writing or have an escalation clause where if there's other offers, you're willing to do this. Again, you're only going to know what you're comfortable doing by speaking with a great real estate agent and a great lender. And finally, number five, being fast. Fast. This is happening so fast. People launch a house on Monday, it's sold on Tuesday, or they have an open house launch on Saturday or Sunday, it's 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 off the market on, on Monday. So you need to be ready. If you're not in town, the agent you work with's got to FaceTime with you, be with mom or dad or the husband or wife, whoever it is, um, collaboratively or individually, and be able to get you the best advice. So understand, these are a lot of moving parts. People want to buy in this market and they don't really think they can. You can with the right plan of action with a great real estate agent and a great mortgage lender and possibly a great real estate attorney. All of those people are right here in house and we could certainly help you. So that, that's five reasons why your home's not getting sold. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, your offer's not getting accepted today. And um, if you have any questions, please post below and share this video. We're here just to give you a lot of value. So thank you so much and we'll see you tomorrow for another edition of Keeping It Real Estate.